today it would be good to have a belt and a block uh, will be on the floor so if you like padding perhaps a blanket would be nice and I'll show at the end of the class how to do the poses if you are confined to a chair so the first warm-up everybody even if you're in a chair you can do this we're going to just stretch forward so very gently extending the spine so from the side we're moving from the tailbone to the crown so lengthening the back not you see the difference okay so even if that means you're coming you need to hold your block to get a flat back use that but uh, flat back long back lengthening the spine so today the mini lesson is you know oh my aching back so we sit so much doing zoom and computer work or standing cooking or maybe even watching TV so it feels good to lengthen the spine so nice to lengthen the spine between the base of the pituitary gland which is back in your brain like midway right between your eyebrows back maybe three inches depending on how wide your head is and lengthen from the base of the pituitary to the tailbone and um, just breathe into the spine lengthen the spine relax the jaw and come back and we'll go to the right now again you see the we don't want the curve here we want a flat a long line so lift up from the base of the pelvis to the fingertips and to the left and then turn your hands back and press the feet down so if you can press the heels of your hands and the heels of your feet okay so just try pressing down on your toes you don't feel any stretch in the lower back but if you press down on your heels and the heels of your hand you'll feel a lengthening in the lower back so let's just do this you don't have to lift your toes if you don't want but you could press the heels down press the heels of the hand down hands down and lengthen the lower back also open the front of the chest okay now I'm going to move the chair away and come down on your back and we're going to begin just by doing a pelvic tilt so lift the navel and then move the navel back lift the navel move the navel back lift the navel move the navel back lift the navel move the navel back okay now bring the right knee into the chest and widen the back of the pelvis invite the back of the pelvis to widen invite the shoulders to widen again you felt the relationship between the heel and the lower back you could make sure you're pressing the heel down pull the knee in I learned this from a, a neuromuscular therapist Randy Payne who works here in Watertown the best thing to do to align your pelvis is this and then bring the left knee in being sure to press the heel down as well move the buttock flesh that a direction widen the shoulders press the heel down okay now the next option you can put a block at the bottom of your mat and bring the right knee in again if it's easy for you to drop the heel on the floor and widen your hips at the same time do so otherwise prop your heel up on the block 
and widen the back body. Move the buttock flesh towards that other direction. Pull the knee in. Invite your pelvis to align. Say, okay, pelvis, line up. Let all those contortions I put you in today let go. And then the other leg. You can prop your right heel up on the block. Bring the left knee into the chest and widen the back of the pelvis, widen the back of the shoulders. Relax the jaw, lengthen the spine from the base, the tip of the tailbone to the base of the pituitary. Nice long spine, happy spine. Okay, and let's just rest a moment. Widen and flatten like a pool of jello. Moving out towards the side of the dish. The dish being your side body. And then we're going to roll over onto our belly. And just stack right hand on left and wiggle your tail, your wide pelvis, wiggle your tail. And then lift your shoe, your feet and tap down the front of your foot. Curl your toes, lift the knees a bit, point the toes, curl the toes, lift the knees, and then Drop your feet down. We're going to press the pubic bone, which is right here. There's a keystone where the two sides meet. That uh, we're going to push down there and move the buttock flesh towards your heels. Okay. Then bring your hands in. Now you see my elbows are under my shoulder. My hands are wide. Okay and I'm lengthening my spine. So pushing down the pubic bone, moving the buttock flesh towards the heel, the shoelace is down, and now imagine a marble rolling from your navel to your chin. And relax. Now when you lift, lift from the base of the neck, where your t-shirt hits your neck, so that you don't crunch your neck vertebrae. So now, roll the marble from the tip of the tailbone to the base of the pituitary gland. And lengthen the spine. Press down the pubis, move the buttock flesh towards the heels, press down your shoelaces, widen the collarbone, and lengthen the spine. Don't crunch the neck. This would be neck crunching. Come on down. We'll do that one more time. Okay, press the shoelaces down. Press the pubis down. Move the buttock flesh towards your heels. Elbows under your shoulders, hands wide and roll the marble from the tip of the tailbone to the base of the pituitary, lengthen the spine. Widen the shoulders. And then come on down. Next, we're gonna just lift our right leg, maybe two inches. Not high, if you lift high, you're stressing the back. So just lift, moving the buttock flesh towards the heels, lift the right leg and press the forehead down, lengthening the spine. And then drop the leg. Now the left leg, lift and lengthen, pressing the head down. We'll repeat, just relax. 
Now press the pubis, move the buttock flesh gently towards the heels, lift the right leg, point the toe, press the forehead down, lengthen the spine from the tailbone to the base of the pituitary. And drop the leg and let's go with the left. Lift only a couple inches, lift that the right knee off the floor, point the toe, press the head down. And drop the leg. The last pose is Salambasana. So you'll need a belt. Let me demonstrate. So we're going to put the belt behind us. Hold one end of the belt or one part of the belt in the right hand, one in the left. You see that? Okay. And pull them apart as you lift your upper body, just as we did in the uh, Bhujanasana, the first pose on our belly. Okay. And come down. And you could do 108 of these. Or we'll do three. And come on up. And down. Now we're going to add the feet. And if this is too much work, then just repeat. So buttock flesh towards the heels, feet together, mermaid legs, and pull the belt apart. And we'll go three times. One. And remember, you don't have to lift your feet far, but point your toes, get your knees up off the floor. Two. And one more time. Three. And come on down. Fold your right hand over the left. Stack your forehead, put your forehead, and just wag your tail. Finally, push up, get a block, and drop your forehead. Open your knees very wide. Okay, knees, toe, big toes together, knees apart, and forehead on the block. You can stretch your arms forward or back. And this feels very delicious right here. Of course, you can lift the block higher if it's more comfortable for you. Big inhale, slow, silky exhale. And again, big inhale, slow, silky exhale. And one more time. Generous inhale, slow, silky exhale. was the yoga mini lesson. Now I'll show how to use the chair. So chair people, you did the same warm up. Okay, so I'd like you to put your block behind your back so that you can press against the block. If you don't have a block, you can use a pillow so that the spine is long and you have something to press against, you can drop the sit bones, lift the crown of the head, 
and whoops, we're going to need the belt. Okay. Okay, lengthen that spine and then put the belt around your right knee and lift that right knee up as much as you can. Now, remember to press down the heel of the left foot as you lift the right knee as much as you can. You can just lift the foot up off the ground. As you press your back into the block or pillow, block of bed or something hard, and then drop that foot, and then let's lift up the left knee. As you lengthen the spine from the tailbone to the base of the pituitary, this feels good. And let's repeat. Pull up the right knee. Press down the left heel so you can feel your lower back. And the left knee. Okay. You can leave the belt here. And if you want, you can leave the belt there. Slide back and lean back. You can grab the side of your chair. Now, don't push the belly forward. Pull the belly back. So this is pushing the belly forward. This is moving back slightly. So you'll feel and press in the heels of your feet. Relax the neck. And move your buttock flesh down towards the chair, down towards your feet actually, pressing the heels. And relax. And we'll repeat that. So you want to be able to press down on your heels, grab the side of your chair, and lift your heart and run the marble from the tailbone to the base of your pituitary without pushing the belly forward. If you push the belly forward, you're going to crunch lower back. So move your buttock flesh towards the heels of your feet and relax the neck. Remember lifting from the nape of the neck. And relax. So the other back bending action that you might want to do is put the block behind your back again and hold the base of your chair and lift up. And relax, holding the base of your chair, lifting the heart, pushing against the block, pushing your heels down, moving your buttock flesh towards your heels. And relax. Take the block in the front, move back into the chair. If you want to hold the block up, you can, or drop the head on the block. Ideally, you probably you need two blocks. So if you don't have two blocks, you can just press your third eye against the block. Lengthen the back. Move the navel towards the seat of the chair. And you can stay there for longer. That was the yoga mini lesson for today. Oh, my aching back, kind of uh, a lesson on engaging the core muscles, lengthening the spine, and correcting any uh, shrimping so that the spine can be long and connecting the base of the pituitary with the tail, the tip of the tailbone 
and not crunching, not pushing the belly forward. So, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for inviting me into your house, and I will see you next week. Have a great weekend. It's raining here in Cambridge. I don't know. It was really muggy today, so wherever you are, I hope you're enjoying your day, the weather, your family. So, see you next week.